We are leaving Rainbow Beach, sadly. It is uh, quite a favourite place and we've actually spent a whole week here. It's been pretty epic, hasn't it, Nigel? It's been awesome. We've seen some incredible sights and now we are off. We're going to check out Tin Can Bay. Never been there. It's very close. It's only 38 kilometres. We're just passing a sign now. So yeah, we'll go check out Tin Can Bay. So we've come to Tin Can Bay, got to be honest. Well, it's very windy, it's not a really good kiting spot, probably good if you're a yachty. Um, we just parked up here for a little while this afternoon. We went over the road there to the little takeaway shop called the Snack Shack. They have really nice hot chips if you're ever here. But other than that, we're not that fussed with Tin Can Bay, so we have decided to continue on and we're gonna go and try and find a forest stealth camp. So we found our campsite for the night. I think spot. it's really cool. We're close what do you reckon, Nige? <laughs> I'm pretty, I'm pretty amped. Yeah. Well, here we are. We have found this perfect campsite. We've literally just pulled down a forestry road and then come down a side road. And we're just here in this pine plantation. How cool. This is where we're going to stay tonight. The last time that we stayed in a campsite, a little bit like this, was the infamous one. <laughs> we called it the Blair Witch Campsite. And while we were camped up there, two bizarre things happened. The first bizarre thing that happened was we saw a guy go walking into the forest with a set of bagpipes. True. And the second thing was, in the morning, the aerial on the front of the van was bent over. Do you remember that? Yeah, it was too. That was there in the Blair Witch campsite. So, let's see how we go here tonight. Good morning everybody. We've just woken up in our glorious secret campsite. We're just having some breakfast. So Nigel's cooking, guess what? Mushrooms and eggs again. We've had a green smoothie and I also made potato rosti. You can see Nigel's on the plate there. Mm. <laughs> Today we're going to continue on. We've got a few admin things to do. We're going to head into Harvey Bay, we might spend some time by the beach there. And then we're gonna to head to Tugum, where there's um, some really good mountain bike trails, apparently. Ooh. So we're gonna see if we can find another forest camp near Tugum for the next couple of nights, while we do a couple of days of mountain biking. Good morning everybody, we are here in Tugum. We've gotten up really early this morning because we are going on an adventure. So we're just setting up for breakfast and out the back. Get these, get these bear boys put together. New trails. Yoo. That's right, today we're going mountain biking on new trails. So directly across the road from us here is the Tugum Mountain Bike Park. It's quite hot, it's currently just gone 6 a.m. We're gonna get out and ride for maybe an hour and a half, two hours before it gets too hot and then we'll go and relax on the beach for the day. Got the Scooby-Doo socks on. Scooby-Doo, we're ready to go. I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a god never 
for change, play the game that we say. I need a break. Oh, like I said, uh, what goes down must go up. And when you haven't ridden for a better part of six months, the uh, lungs are feeling it a bit. But it's gross, so good to be out on the bike again. Yeah, what do you reckon, so good to be out on the bike again or what? Hell yes. <laughs> Exactly what I was just thinking. So the next little bit of obstacle that we're going to film is none other than a log. This is it here. Now we all know what happened last time I filmed Nigel riding over a log and it was almost a year to the day. Let's hope today is a little bit less dangerous. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise if you hate on that I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a ride or die for my dreams on tap I'm a fly real high, you ain't see me slack, I'm a snide, how you fall, it's how you get right back up It's how you get tough, calluses on my hands, so freaking awesome, isn't it? Yeah. Too goom or not too goom, we'd have to say goom Goom <laughs> It's awesome. I full clip, put your name on it, but I'm gonna let you side cause you ain't worth it. Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want, I'll keep dreaming. That was awesome. That was so good. Wow. So that was epic, and what's really cool is the public toilets over here behind us have showers in them so we can shower up there they're only cold showers but let's face it when it's pushing 30 degrees who wants to have a hot shower anyway when you've just finished mountain biking yeah nah <laughs> how good was it to be back on the trails oh, night freaking awesome we loved it and like it's been about six months for both of us since we've been out mountain biking yeah too long and it's something that we love so much so, we've just parked yeah. up the van here we're right by the beach we're about to go for a walk down to the beach to have a swim. But we're just watching this kookaburra up in the tree. We just went for a swim here and honestly it wasn't that exciting. It's um, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of knee deep up to at least a hundred meters out. So the water's quite warm. It's kind of a mud flat, <laughs> to be honest. It'd be really nice for kiting here and Nigel is just a little bit unhappy because there's no wind, right Nigel? Uh, not enough. We think we're going to head over to Burham Heads this evening to visit a friend over there. And around the other side from Burham Point is Woodgate. So, you know, that's one of our favourite places. We'll be heading back up there shortly. Today we are in Burham Heads and we're parked up right by the water here, which is really nice. It's nice and flat here. It's a really good spot for kite surfing, but there's not really enough wind today, despite the fact that there is a lesson going on out in the water there. We don't think they're being very successful with their lesson, but um, they did have the kite up in the air for a small amount of time. Nigel was thinking about going out, but it's really not enough wind. So we've just been for a swim. I've been doing some work and Nigel's been doing some editing. So we're just hanging out, having a lazy day here by the beach. So we found another one of these awesome little wild camps. 
it's in the state forest near where we've been mountain bike riding and it's actually really cool so there's a main forestry road just up there and we've just come down this little forestry road a little ways back the van into here and you know Nigel's still pottering away there what are you doing now babe of um, painting, <laughs> but a kill rust paint as you do. <laughs> and today, because we've been doing a lot of mountain biking, we also had to wash our mountain biking clothes. So we went to the you know, closest big town and did some laundry. And look, there it is, all hanging up. <laughs> so this is van life reality. Now So friends, here we are with yet another van life reality. I don't know if you can hear. It's currently raining, so the entire van is all closed up. But if you remember, just a little while ago, I showed you all our washing out on the line outside. <laughs> getting drenched. It's still all outside, <laughs> getting drenched. <laughs> and the last time we did this... It went to four days, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's when we were in Cooktown. <laughs> <laughs> and it took like four days to get it yeah, dry. But we got the bike gear. Um, we brought the bike gear in so we can at least ride dry. tomorrow. But maybe we can just tie our washing between trees and leave it here and come back and get it later. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, well. We've just finished our third day of mountain biking here at Tugum. Or Tugum. Um, three out of four days we've ridden here and yeah the first day was super enjoyable <laughs> the next two days not so um, so there's two sections of the mountain bike park here and we did some exploratory mountain biking on the second two days um, anyway it's been great to get out in nature and adventure and yeah uh, we highly recommend these trails if you're a beginner or not really that experienced stick to the main um, Tugum mountain bike net trail network but if you've done a lot of mountain biking and you like going exploratory mountain biking and on trails that are not so groomed head over to the other side because there's some pretty cool trails to check out there so this is currently the state of the van check this out it's like a wash house it's not getting dry yet either. Shops oh well. And socks and knickers and everything. Shirts. Everything. Coffee. The good news about today is that it looks like there's a bit more wind. So Nigel's just been down to the beach and pumped up his kite. And I'm just going to go and have a chat to him and find out where he's planning on kiting to today. Because I'm going to have to drive to pick him up. How's it looking, babe? Mm. It might be a bit sketchy launching. Uh, yeah, we'll have, we might have to have a play around here for five minutes and, and just to be sure before I head off north. <laughs> and where do you reckon you'll head to? Well, the plan is to get as far as the Otter Light Creek at Woodgate. So while it's only maybe, how many kilometres, babe? About 20 kilometres as the crow flies or on the ocean for Nigel to kite to Theodolite Creek. From here, it's actually an hour's drive for me because I have to go all the way back out to the highway and along and then all the way back in. So I also need to get fuel for the van while I'm en route. So it's gonna take me longer than an hour to get there. Um, and it's a bit of a race, yeah. So we'll see how we go. We're down on the beach now at, and I just got the kite ready, about ready to launch. I'm going to help him launch off and he will be off on his way. He's off and now I'm going to drive to the first check-in point back at Barham Heads. Let's go. So I've just arrived at Barham Heads and I was expecting to see Nigel by now. 
um, and I've been looking out and I haven't seen him but then I spotted him and he is miles out to sea so, so basically he's come from down this way and he's heading north along there he's directly out there right on the horizon but the fact that he's way out to sea there well it kind of might seem a bit scary I'm actually glad to see that he's out there because it's kind of a bit safer out there apart from sharks and all that sort of stuff Alrighty, so I've just arrived at Woodgate. Actually, that drive was kind of longer than I thought it was going to be. It's taken me well over an hour to get here. So um, Nigel has texted me, so I think he's just been like hanging out in the water, waiting for me to come so I can help him land the kite. So he's probably pretty tired. Anyway, he said to head down to the tip down here. So the tip of this little point where the river mouth is. So let's head down there and see if we can find him. I just spotted him. He's out there having a great time, kite surfing around. Normally there's a beach here and like little sand spits and everything, but clearly the tide is quite high, which is weird. I thought it was gonna be a low tide, so really not sure where we're gonna land. So that's it, he's back on dry land, safe and sound. How was it, Nigel? Right. Hello? How was it? Oh, yeah, good. Uh, it was, uh, ended up being 38k. And I had a bit of a rest over on the sandbar over there, waiting for you. <laughs> and I was like, ah, cool, there's a bit more life in the, in the old legs yet. <laughs> so I had a nice 10 minute. 15 minute play out there on the flat of water it was beautiful. It's really nice. You! <laughs> Join us next time when we continue up the Queensland coast and Nigel enjoys some more kite surfing. We find another epic campsite and then disaster strikes. We just finished doing the dishes and Nigel went to run some water and nada pump not working. Thanks so much for watching this episode. If you've enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up, drop a comment and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you'll be notified next time an episode is uploaded. Thanks again for watching and see you next time.